organizational design and span of control, it's so often the case in small businesses, even medium-sized businesses. And when I say small, it could be that business is, is doing 300000 a year in revenue um, to, to uh, 2 to $3 million. And then they might be doing from $3 million to $20 million, you know, when we see these things come up. Span of control is really important, and here's what we're trying to create. What's the highest best use? I have an answer or a suggestion. What's the highest best use of time for that business owner? What we want to do is understand what's the highest best use of time for that that owner and certainly what we know to be pretty much true most of the time is the highest best use of time for the owner is he's the he or she is the face of the company right and so getting them continually out in the marketplace they know that their best use which means the highest return back to the company is getting out into the marketplace if that's the case then I can't be back running the lathe. I can't be back uh, doing basically all the plumbing on, on a job. Um, I can't be spending a whole bunch of time on uh, estimating, invoicing, you scheduling. So we start to look for ways to, in an organizational design, what do we do to increase the span of control for the leader, the, in this case we'll call it the owner, to do what's the highest best use of their time? Yeah, working on the business, not in the business. Exactly, exactly. And look, I, um, we're, we're all guilty of working in the business um, more often than not. I don't know too many tradespeople out there that you know, the owner knows that the highest best use of their time is to get out in the marketplace or to spend more time on, on training mm -hmm. other tradespeople. But you also have, in some larger organizations, they have a sales department. And the sales department's the one in charge of getting new revenue, new customers. It, it, yeah, it, you know, my, my point would be this. There's any number of, of owners that, you know, they like to just every now and then get out and grab the shovel and start helping somebody dig a ditch. I'm good with that. I mean, take me off the speaker network, take me off, the, uh, don't let me coach anymore, and I'll slit my wrist, right? So, ah, but Dave, but the highest best use of your time is to be out talking to to, to more clients, uh, prospects. I go, okay, well, you know, don't take away this other stuff. So it's okay. And oh, by the way, the owner every now and then should get out into the field and, you know, rub the elbows and the shoulders with the, the team. So right. all, all that's um, quite fine. I got, I digressed. Because you also don't want the owner who just goes into their office and sits with the doors closed and doesn't interact with anybody. Yeah, well, that's a no-no. Uh, because by the, any of you that have been raised in the old management principle of management by walking around, it's still alive and well. It, it really is alive and well. Get out, press the flesh with your employees, you know, be by them. Um, it still works. I won't go into detail on that today. All right, guys. Hey, the, the big three yep. customers. Um, yes, it's about the customer. It's making sure that you're getting your ideal customers. So target market, the effectiveness of your marketing. We can teach you, show you how to measure that. Okay, understand the channels of communication that best fit with how your target market likes to receive information, right? And then be sure to have a unique selling proposition which we can show you step-by-step step how to create. You will be surprised. And if you, even if you already have one, you may not have thought deep enough into it that makes you truly unique. Sure, it's, you know, my saying it's, I've adopted this for years now. Language is everything. It's 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 so much. A lot of times, not um, what you say as to how you say it. Right. For it to get through <clears throat> the receiver's noggin and still feel feel good to you. All right. The second one is uh, financials. Right. 
Right. Okay. And, and that takes a little bit more time, but know how your costs work. Understand the significant, this way, understand the significance of the gross profit. Okay. Oh, excuse me. All important. And then last, I had a look actually the at my cheese. It's the ease. It's the employees. Okay. And it's everything we talked about here. When it comes to employees, an organization, top grade is number one. Number two is creating the organizational uh, design architecture that's going to take you to the next level, okay? And allow you as the owner to create sufficient span of control and influence, I'm sorry, it's my fault, and influence on your company so that you can be doing the things that you're best at.